Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to do a center double decrease. So that's where you're taking three stitches um, into one stitch and you want the center stitch to um, kind of be the, the prominent stitch um, so that it looks nice and even. So the first way that I think is one of the easiest ways is to pretend like you're knitting these two stitches together, slip them off, and stick them back on the left hand needle and then you really don't even have to take your um, your right hand needle out and put it through the back loop of that third stitch and then we're going to knit all those three together and that's a pretty nice and fast way um, you can see that the the center stitch then um, would form a nice it, it's nice and even both sides come in nice and evenly to that center stitch Another way to do it um, that's a little bit faster because you don't have to slip those stitches off is to just go into those stitches as if you were to knit two together, but don't take them off, and then turn your work and go, if you can see, I'm going into the back of that third stitch. And now I'm just going to grab my yarn and kind of weave my way out the same way the needle came in. And that does the exact same thing. Um, some people, some people find it a little difficult to do that um, maneuver where you get the stitches, where you go through all of them. So I'm just going to show you that one more time. So go in like you're going to knit two together, and then into the back of that third stitch. Grab your yarn or wrap your yarn, and then pull it through. If you kind of pull down, it, it really does make a, a little window that you can get through. Um, but if that's too difficult, then just do the slip two together, place them back on the needle, and knit the three together. I'm going to show you one other trick um, also. So one other trick is that, um, well often when you are doing a center double decrease in say a hat pattern or something, you'd have a stitch marker that would be right, um, it would be before the, the stitch that's the center of the center decrease. And the difficulty is that this stitch is also involved in that um, center de double decrease, but your stitch marker is kind of in the way. <laughs> so I'll show you just a quick way to move the stitch marker into the correct place so that you can do your um, center, center double decrease. So you knit up to the stitch before the stitch marker and then what we wanted to do is change the place of these two, um, the stitch marker and the stitch. So what I'll do is just pretend like I'm knitting the stitch marker together with the stitch before it um, and slip them onto the needle and see how that changed places and then I just put that stitch back on and now my stitch marker is in the right place I can work on these three stitches, and my stitch marker is where it needs to be um, before the next uh, center double decrease, the next time you come to it. So then again, um, you can do the pretend like you're knitting two together, slip them off, and then put them back on the needle and go through the back loop of that next stitch, knit them all together through the back loop. Or you can do the knit two together, go through the, find the back loop of that next stitch, wrap your yarn, and then kind of weave your way back out. Um, so give both of those a try and see which one you like better. Thanks for watching.